so yeah uh, this is the count the number of beautiful subarrays so what the problem statement is you can choose any two different indices i and j and you need to remove the kth bit uh, from both the numbers right if if uh, the operation can be performed only if the kth bit is present in both the numbers right so you need to subtract 2 power k what does that mean that means you need to remove that kth bit from that number right see uh, subarray is called beautiful if all elements are equal to 0 what does that mean uh, the first observation that you need to make is like you need to make the subarray sort as 0 right the ultimate goal is that you need to a subarray is called beautiful if the whole subarray sor is 0 the first observation you need to make is that and if you can catch that see you can you can observe uh, like only if we can remove the kth bit from both the numbers that means the bit is present even number of times in that number so ultimately if you if you sort that you can get the resultant as zero so that's why we are saying uh, if you can make the whole subarray XOR is 0, then you can uh, call it as beautiful here. Now, what we will do? See, initially, I am taking my array is this. I am taking my array is this. If we can take the resultant XOR of this array is, see, initially our iterator i stands on 4. So, until, until here, the XOR is 4, right? Until here, the XOR is 4. Now, your iterator i moves to the next position. Now, what is 4 XOR 1? That is 5, right? That is 5. Now, you again move your iterator and you take the whole XOR until this position. Now, what does that will give you? That will give you again 4, right? Now, you again XOR it with 2 and it will give you 6. Now you again move your iterator to the next position and you can get 4 and now you again XOR it with 3, it will give you 7 and it will give you again 4, right? So this is the resultant XOR. This is the resultant XOR up to ith position. See, I need you to observe. See, until here, you got the resultant XOR as 4 and now until here, until he again until at this position you are getting again 4 now what does that signify what does that signify if any result is appearing same twice again can i say some part of my subarray uh, sor is giving me zero can you observe that see if if your same result is appearing twice that means see here you are getting 4 again right so this whole subarray part sor is zero right so that's what you are getting four result again see here uh, at this position you are getting again four then what does that signify it signifies the whole subarray part until this is zero so that's why you are getting the previous result again now you again go and check for this position it it is signifying the whole subarray part XOR is 0. So that's why you are getting again 4. Now, can I say, can I say, if my, uh, if, if any, uh, like you will just take the frequency, you will just take the frequency and you just count, uh, count the frequency. See, initially your 4 frequency is 1 and your 5 frequency will be 1 and your 4 frequency will be uh, 0 uh, sorry your 4 frequency will be 2 and 6 will be 1 and this will be 3 right and this will be 4 now if you can check uh, see whenever your frequency of that element is becoming greater than 1 can I say that is it is appearing twice it is appearing twice right see uh, so you will sum it up you will just sum all this frequency minus 1 into your sum why are you making like that because see 
here the frequency is two right so so it is one sub array that is giving giving the xor as zero now if you can go if you can go to this then the frequency minus one will become two right then the frequency minus one will become two then what does that indicating it is indicating you can you can take this uh sorry you can take this whole sub array which is a beautiful sub array and or otherwise you can take only this this part of sub array that is also giving you uh, a beautiful sub array now see if you again go at this position your frequency is 4 what does that is uh, that is indicating that is indicating there are three beautiful sub arrays how like this is the one part uh, one beautiful sub array and this is one beautiful sub array and this is one beautiful sub array now what you will do you just need to map the resultant sor and you just need to add the frequency minus one to your count that is the count of beautiful sub arrays you can you can see this see here there are the four frequency is four that means it is indicating there are three beautiful sub arrays you can you can see this here now if we can just go to the coding part i'll just quickly code it up see i'll take the resultant sor as zero initially and we will take a map of int comma int that is empty so we will we will be mapping initially zero frequency as one right because we need to even count that now we will be iterating into our array and what we will be doing we will be doing we will be <coughs> sorting it in our resultant array right and we will just uh, sorry uh, we need to have some long 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 count right count that is equal to zero so we will be counting with that so we will map this up we will map our resultant and we can say count plus equal to our map of our map of resultant minus our map of resultant minus one right so we can just simply return the count if i can try to test this you can see uh, it is giving me correct answer so let's just quickly submit this you can see it got accepted so that's what it is you just need to map the resultant frequency and what it is indicating it is indicating there are frequency minus one beautiful sub array so that is the only observation you need to make